It's about time we grew up and faced issues head on instead of reverting to blasphemy and cancel culture. A brouhaha is brewing in Britain, which has all the trimmings of the old Salman Rushdie case. If you recall, in 1989, the novelist Salman Rushdie was at a book party when Ayatollah Khomeini of Iran issued a fatwa, an international call to all Muslims to kill Rushdie for his book, The Satanic Verses. The initial monetary reward for his death was one million, but would quickly rise. The controversy this time is about a film called The Lady of Heaven, which was supposed to be screened at Signworld cinemas across the UK, but just got cancelled. Other cinemas followed suit. In other words, they caved in under pressure, and this puts freedom of expression in a very dangerous spot. The UK Guardian headlines read, UK cinema chain cancels screenings of blasphemous film after protests. Blasphemous in UK? I know that blasphemy laws existed in UK many years ago, but they have not used them against anyone for ages. But now this dreaded blasphemy term has raised its ugly head and this bodes no good for freedom of expression or speech. I'm an observant Sunni Muslim, and I have been wanting to see The Lady of Heaven since I heard about it in December. The film is about Lady Fatima, the daughter of Prophet Muhammad. The movie is an epic that moves from the beginning of Islam in the 7th century AD to Iraq a few years ago, as it suffered under the monstrous terrorist group ISIS. It tells the story of an Iraqi boy who is orphaned after his mother is executed by militants. The child is adopted by an elderly woman who comforts the youngster by telling the story of saintly Fatima, daughter of the Prophet Muhammad, who is highly revered by all Muslims and especially by those of the Shia sect. You may know that there are two major sects in Islam, among others. These are Shia and Sunni, who have been at loggerheads with each other since the dead of death of Prophet Muhammad. Sectarian violence is rife in many Muslim majority countries because the two sects don't want to interact with each other and are hell bound that they are on the right path. Having said this, it is exactly this reason why a film like Lady of Heaven should not be canceled, but become a reason for dialogue and discussion, something that sadly lacks in most Muslim communities. Take Monty Python's Life of Brian. At the time it was released, there was a major pushback and criticism with some Christians being incensed, but it led to healthy public debate and discussion. Whether one likes the film or not, whether we agree or disagree with the content, art and culture should not be hijacked by cancel culture because freedom of expression is a fundamental value. The film, Lady of Heaven, has been banned in Egypt, Iran, and Pakistan. And the executive producer, Malik Shaibak, said that he received death threats as a result of the film. This is a typical Islamist strategy to muzzle any healthy critique and a tactic the Islamists have successfully employed to silence dissent because Western leaders and institutions cower in fear of Islamists. In the Western world, one would think that artists, filmmakers, and authors would be free. Not so, my friend, as we see in many cases from Charlie Hebdo cartoons to the brutal murder of the Dutch submission filmmaker Theo van Gogh. One of the objections to the film Lady of Heaven from some Muslims is that the persona of the prophet is portrayed for the first time. However, according to those who have actually seen the film, it is a computer generated image. The writer and producer of this film insists that they were very sensitive to Muslim sentiments, so they did not digress. Another criticism is that negative characters in the film were portrayed by black actors. Hello? What happened to diversity? 
And do Muslims forget that the Prophet Muhammad freed the first black slave, Bilal, and asked him to give the call to prayer 1400 years ago? The film has generated controversy among Muslim sex scholars and leaders as well. In this case, the controversy is healthy because for 1400 years, Muslims have pushed their own history under the sand to avoid talking about it. It's about time we grew up and faced issues head on instead of reverting to blasphemy and cancel culture. This is Rahil Raza for Rebel News. Don't forget to click or like www.rebelnews.com.